Yes. Oh, can't stay away, can you? Uh, no, I'm just checking the rotor. I thought you'd be out at work on your article. Uh, I'm nearly finished, actually. And I was wondering, uh, you can say no, but would you mind reading through it? No, of course. You want me to? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, I'm really sorry. Why, what's up? I've got this really big order of beard oil that needs to go out today. And this little terror is determined not to go to sleep, are you? You couldn't finish a bit earlier, could you? Oh, um, yeah, probably. Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. No, 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 no. no. Don't be silly. Let me just check the bookings. Well, I could just cover your shift at lunch if you want. You sure? Uh, yeah, of course. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. All right, all right. Well, I'll see you in a bit. See you later. Don't do too much. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I give you this? Yeah, of course. It's just my CV. Someone said you're looking for waitresses. Oh. But I know there's not really much on it, but, you know, if you do need someone. Well, to be fair, there wasn't a lot on mine when I first started. Or mine. Cheers. Thanks. Right, back to work. Oh, Bertie, please, will you just give me a minute? Hey, 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 what's all this noise all about? I thought you'd be here sooner. Hey, there was a delivery, I'm sorry. And to be honest, I can't just bunk off every time you've got to get an order out. Let me, I don't ask you every time. All right. How do you think you'd feel if you had to wait on tables and look after Bertie at the same time, eh? Just because I work from home doesn't mean I don't have a job too. OK, I'm sorry. At least being this busy means we don't have to worry about illnesses and hospitals or... Oh, but before you ask, I haven't started on any of the wedding stuff yet. Right. But you have... you have sorted the witnesses, yeah? Sinead, we're meant to be getting married next week. I know, I know. It's just... with everything that's been going on, I... Oh, all right, totally. I understand. Do you want me to sort it? No, no, it's fine. Um, just let me finish all this and then I'll... I'll ring Auntie Beth, all right? Um, right. Yeah, thank you. I'm so grateful. Thanks, bye. <sighs> she said yes then, I take it. Sorry? Beth, is she going to be a witness? Oh, uh, no, no. That was the guy in town who wanted to sell on. He said I can deliver all this tomorrow night, thank God. <sighs> Look, I offered to do it. Oh, Daniel, please, will you stop going on about this wedding? Look, I'm sorry, I'm just busy, that's all. Yeah, so am I. It's about prioritising the important stuff, and I think that getting married is important. Daniel, we're already married. It's a formality. All right, fine, let's just not bother then, shall we? Oh, don't be like that. It's a registry. Two witnesses and a meal. Look, I do want to get married mm. properly. It's just been a mad day, that's all. Let me finish all this and then I promise I will call Auntie Beth, OK? I know that we don't need to do any of this, but it just feels... Well, I want to. I really want to. Me too. Now, get back to the bistro. No, don't even say anything. It's rubbish. I should never have shown it you. Bethany. No, it's fine. You don't have to be kind about it. The editor's going to think that I'm such an idiot. It's embarrassing. Just forget That's that I... brilliant. Even... What? Raw, honest. It's not humiliating, then. You're kidding me. You literally have no idea how good this is, do you? I'm not a great writer. I know that. No. Not yet. But it's heartbreaking and... There's not a trace of self-pity or bitterness. It's, it's amazing. Incredible. Oh, I'm in awe. Yes, sir. Whoa! Ah. Steady. <laughs> Hiya. What's on? Hey? 
Aren't you checking the TV pages? That's all my gran ever looks at. Uh, I am after a second-hand bike. Have you never heard of the internet? Well, you know, you'd be surprised what you can find in here. Uh, there you are. Cross trainer. Never been used. Forty pounds on nearest offer. <laughs> Uh, for a minute, I thought you might have been looking for something else. What, the green man? I don't know what that is. Jason McKenzie's column on County. Are you a fan? Oh, well, my Uncle David used to play for them. Mm. My Uncle David plays table football when he's not in prison. We both got Uncle David's. Yeah, what happened to yours? Uh, oh, he emigrated to Australia and then died. Mm, what a shame, after going all that way. <laughs> so it's not in, then? No. Do you want me to give him a nudge? Uh, no, no, it's fine, don't worry. I meant it. It's really, really good. Thanks. So, see you at work. <laughs> Bye. Oh, uh, good luck finding a bike. Flowers. Well, you needn't say it like that. Got a friends and family discount, 15%. Mm. She's full of big gestures, your sister. Well, at least it's something. We haven't got the money to waste on flowers. This is your attitude to the flowers. Just wait until I tell you that I've booked a hotel room for the night. You haven't? Yeah. Call me an old romantic. We have been through this. We got married in Victoria Gardens, mm. right? Tomorrow, we're just making it legal. That's it. Legal, Schmeagle. No, Daniel. I can barely afford the morning off with all this to do, and now you're asking me to set my evening as well. It's your wedding night. It's not that kind of wedding. <sighs> now, please, will you just turn that off and go and see Tiberti? I'm already behind with all this. <sighs> right, I've cancelled those flowers. Have you? Yep. Put the extra cash towards the gas bill. Are you going to get dressed today, or what? Wow. Two swipes, one after the other. Yeah, well, I've got an hour before I start work, and all I want to do is sit down and read the newspaper, but... You sound about 500 years old. Yeah? Well, you're the one that's treating our wedding like it's a massive inconvenience. We're married. We got married. If you think we need a little piece of paper to make it official, that's fine, but just don't expect me to drop everything. Drop everything? Oh, I'll behave like a princess. Oh, don't worry, there's absolutely no danger of that. Why are you so desperate? Because I love you. You think I'm going to die? What? Yes, that's exactly why I'm doing it. I can't wait to get my hands on all of your beard oils. I haven't even got a beard. You might grow one. You're not going to die. You're going to live. That's why I want to get married. What's the rush? You've been in and out of hospital up until now, so we haven't had the chance to do it properly. All oh, right. I've been in and out of hospital, so it's my fault. I'm terribly sorry I've had cancer. Sinead. I'm completely thoughtless of me. It isn't thoughtless of you. It's just that you're well now, and I want to celebrate that. If you can spare me a few hours. Swipe three. Well, I don't know what's more important to you these days, me or this beard oil. The one thing I've got in my life to take my mind off it, and you throw it in my face. The one thing I've got that makes me feel a little bit more normal and that I've actually got a future and you begrudge me it. I'm not begrudging you anything. But what about me and Bertie? What about you? Well, if this is the most important thing, where does that leave us? You're behaving like a child. Oh, right. One minute I'm 500 years old, the next I'm a child. Which is it, Sinead? I said I'll marry you, so that's that. Well, look, I wouldn't want to force you into anything, so if it's too much trouble, then let's just forget it. Fine, let's. Fine. Okay. Isn't this just ridiculous? What, life? No, waiting on tables. But yeah, that too. Mm. Customer over there is complaining, saying that this custard isn't warm enough. I almost poured it over his head. Ow! Yeah, could that be any hotter? <laughs> Almost steam coming off it. Oh, did you find a bike? What? You were looking for one in the Gazette. Oh, um, no. I wasn't actually looking for a bike, and I was actually looking for your article. Oh. 
Nothing. You heard something? Uh, they said there wasn't any space. They rejected it? No, it's fine. Well, there's 48 pages worth of rubbish. What do you mean there's no space? You better go and get his custard before his pudding goes cold. <laughs> it's insane. Honestly, I'm all right with it. Well, you shouldn't be. Hello, yeah. Oh, is that Miriam? Yeah, hiya, Miriam. It's Daniel Osborne. Yes, as in sometime contributing reporter. Look, can you put me through to the editor, please? OK, then, well, can you pass on a message for me? You had an article submitted to you this week by Bethany Platt. She's one of the girls that was abused. Well, I've read her piece, and I can't for the life of me understand why you wouldn't want to run it. I mean, it's really impressive. She's really impressive. What those men did to her, she went through all of that for real. And she's put it down on paper with honesty and guts and, to be honest, an understanding of the bigger picture way beyond her years. All right, then, fine. If you don't think that the paper should demonstrate any ambition, just stew in your own mediocrity, then. We'll send it to the messenger or the citizen, and I bet they'll splash it all over the front page. Tell Cindy I rang. Um, I was just coming to check if table four starters were ready. You shouldn't have done that. Well, it was true. There was plenty written at the time. Yeah, but not by you. Either way, I can speak for myself. I know that you can speak for yourself. I don't need you to be phoning editors and pouring soup onto people's laps. Right, sorry. Did you mean it? What you said about the citizen and the messenger? Oh, so you do want me to intervene? No, I'm just asking. Well, you can't have it both ways. Why not? Why shouldn't I be able to get something published without you fighting on my behalf? I've just put everything on the line for you. Yeah, without my consent. I'm so confused. Do you want my help or not? Yeah. Right. I thought you deserved it. Why? What is it you want from me? I don't know. And Coronation Street continues in half an hour. What are we doing? I haven't got a clue. You've been under a lot of stress recently. I know what that feels like. Yeah, it's just... Oh, sorry, it's just today's been a bit of a nightmare. We had a massive row about the wedding earlier, and it was all my fault. I'm sure it wasn't. She's working so hard, probably making up for lost time. She's had it really tough, and here's me on her case about a stupid wedding. Weddings aren't stupid. Anyway, I, I shouldn't be offloading onto you. I don't mind. No, it, it's tacky to be moaning about it to somebody so nice. I'm going to get back out there, make sure the customers aren't helping themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Blokes aren't bothered about flowers. He was only doing it for you. And as for the piece of paper, he just wants you all to be a proper family with the same surname. It just makes life easier when you're filling in forms. Hmm. Life insurance forms. I hope you didn't say that to him. Do you think I'm being reasonable? Well, I mean, it's good that you're throwing yourself into this, but... It's a bit of a rum old do if you can't spare a few hours on your wedding night. I just... I haven't got time to waste anymore. You have got loads and loads of time. You're gonna live a long and happy life. I can't afford to think like that. Look, work's important, of course it is, but we're here to enjoy ourselves as well, you know. Just give the lad a break, eh? I'm sorry about earlier. I didn't mean to embarrass you. Why? What happened earlier? Well, I didn't mean for you to overhear me on the phone and after that blow-up with Sinead and then when you told me your bad news... Yeah, no, no, don't worry about it. I'm glad you didn't get in trouble. Well, it was probably ill-advised, but, um, who cares? Mads think that you're getting married in the morning. Yeah. Well, watch this space. Oh, speak of the devil. Not that she's the devil. 
Hello, you. Hi. Hey, hello, cheeky jocks. Um, can I have a word? Yeah, yeah. Is everything okay? I just want to say I'm really sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. Really, really sorry. I'm, well, scared. Why? The last time we got married, I got cancer. Come here. Look, we don't have to go through with it. No, we do. And I shouldn't have been so horrible to you this morning either. You weren't. I'm serious, though. Go on, get this order out. Are you sure? Yes. We have the rest of our lives to get married. I shouldn't have been mean about your beard oil. Maybe I'm just jealous because I can't grow one. Well, that's a big weight off my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Mine too. All right, well, um, I'll see you later then. Great. See ya. See you in a bit. Hiya. All right. What's the matter? Nothing. Sinead? I kind of saw you and Bethany earlier exchanging this weird look and I can't pretend that it's not been eating away at me. Bethany? Really? Really. Definitely caught each other's eye. <sighs> it's a bit embarrassing, but you're right. I have been chatting to her about this article that she's tried to write for the Gazette and about you. Me? Yeah, you know how it is. You have a row at home, you're going to work, you vent. Right, right. So you've been bad mouthing me to Bethany now, have you? No, I've not been bad mouthing you. Just, I just told her about the ding dong that we had earlier. I was mainly saying how out of order I'd been. It's been a long day. You get talking. Hmm. Well, maybe Bethany Platt doesn't want us to get married. Come on, it's nothing like that. How do you know? <clears throat> Bethany does not fancy me, all right? Just supporting her. I even rang the Gazette to tell them that I thought they were mad for not publishing her article. Did you? Mm -hmm. What did they say? Well, I only spoke to an assistant. It was that Miriam. Mm -hmm. Her knight in a white charger, then, is it? She probably just felt awkward when you walked in, that's all. Speaking of chargers, have you seen where mine is? My battery's on 7%. I cancelled the registry office. Right. Because that is what we agreed, you know? Yeah, absolutely. As so long as you're not in a mood with me then. Of course not. Daniel, because he finished at seven. Uh, no, actually, I was looking for you. Me? Uh, when's your break? Oh, I don't finish till half nine. I won't mind a word. What about? Meet me in the Rovers when you finish. It shouldn't take too long. OK. Then, um, is everything all right? Honestly? I'm not sure. Sorry, Bertie was playing it. Um, can I get you a drink? Oh, no, it's all right. I'm not staying. Charming. So, uh, Daniel said that he was talking to you. Well, yeah, about how much he wants to get married and... I mean, I could bring something over He if was you... just helping me with my writing. Oh, you look terrified. Oh, I'm sorry, I just... I don't want you to be angry with me. Why would I be angry with you? I don't know. Well, people talk at work. I get it. I'm not daft. But I did see the way you looked at each other earlier and, well, yeah, it's freaked me out a little bit. Do you have anything you want to say about that? He said you were too busy to get married even though he wanted to. And I, I just felt awkward when you came in. OK, I'm satisfied. I don't think I could cope if you ran off with someone younger and prettier than me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing about life. And I don't want you to forget this. It's fragile. I know it is. 
I'm glad your article was good. I'm sorry they didn't publish it. Thanks. <laughs> so, I told Daniel that I cancelled the wedding. But I haven't. I'm going to surprise him. Really? <laughs> yeah, like he did with me last time. It's going to be a massive party. Tomorrow? Yeah, like a proper celebration. Because, well, <sighs> I love him more than life itself. <laughs> well, that's really romantic. <laughs> I need to speak to Michelle about the bistro. I need to talk to Ken, Beth, Craig. It's a bit of a race against the clock, actually. I think it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> but not a word to Daniel, all right? Yeah. And uh, listen, congratulations. Thank you. Right, I'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah. This is all the decorations I can find. Great. Let me get started then. Are you okay? Yeah. It's just, you know, weddings. Oh, hey, listen, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. No, 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 no. I'll be fine, honestly. Must be hard for her, this, no? After run. I've told her she needs to get away for a bit. She wants to go travelling with the mansion. So why don't she? She's just not got the money yet. Oh, where have you been? Uh, got up at four, came straight from Stoke, made some canopies. Yeah, I saw that. I just wondered where you'd gone. Oh, uh, ran out of caviar. Caviar? Is that not a bit posh? Well, I'm excited. It's Daniel and Sinead's secret wedding. I want it to be special. Right, well, I uh, I have a little bit of bad news for you. What's this? <laughs> Sinead's added a load more people to the guest list. She's decided she wants a massive party now. Why me? Uh, OK, I need to go back to the wholesalers. I'll just double up on everything. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, there's something I need to talk to you about. Um. So you remember the franchise I mentioned to you on the phone last night? With various hotels? Yeah. Well, I might have said yes. I, I didn't want to tell you over the phone. I'm sorry, I was just really excited. But this is a great opportunity for us. We could make a fortune. Oh, we could have waited till I got back. Well, I just didn't want us to miss out. I mean, they were talking to other people. Like, no, I, I didn't want us to miss out. Right. Well, I, I still need to think about it. Let's discuss it after the wedding. Take over to the bistro. Can't get it ready till Daniel's gone, can I? He might twiggy for season wedding tricks. What are you two whispering about? Uh, nothing. We just didn't want a bit better. You kidding me? It's been awake since 5 a.m. He always is. So, how do you fancy lunch with me at the bistro? Oh, uh, well, I was gonna take Bertie out. Yeah, bring him with you. I'll ring Bethany and book a table. I don't really want to eat where I work. How about speed down? Hey, has marriage taught you nothing? Never argue with your wife, even though legally she's not your wife. Yeah. Uh, yeah, listen to your nephew. How about you take Bertie down the Red Wreck and I'll meet you at the Bistro at 12? Mm -hmm. <sighs> you very quiet, Bethany. Is everything all right? Well, to be honest, I'd rather be with my mum in Milan than doing a stock take with you. No offence. Oh, well, cheer up. You'll be doing Sinead's makeup in a bit, won't you? Can't wait. All right. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, and thanks for giving me the day off, by the way. Well, I just came to see how you're getting on with this wedding. Yeah, I'm doing OK. I just, uh, just want it to be special, you know. Yeah. Yeah, sadly I do. Cancer's a terrible thing. My daughter went through it. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Oh, she's in the clear now, thankfully, but we went through hell. Yeah, yeah, so did Sinead and Daniel. So the least we can do is give him a free reception, eh? Well, that's why I'm here, actually. I, uh, well, I'd like to help out, if that's OK. Yeah, of course. What are you thinking? Everything. Cars, flowers, the works. All on me. <laughs> are you serious? That's really generous of you. And how about old night at Chariot Square? I mean, no offence, but it's a bit more grand than this place, and they'll get good photos in the garden. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know, cos Robert planned to do all the food here. Oh, my chef's all handle it. Give him the day off. Let him have a few beers, relax, enjoy the wedding. Yeah, all right, then. Yes, I mean, sounds great. I'll have to run it by Sinead, but I'm sure she'll love the idea. OK. Well, then, let's sit down and get everything sorted. There's a lot to organise, eh? 
right. Hey, Bethany, can you, uh, can you just call Robert and tell him that we're not going to do the reception here anymore? No. All right, listen, calm down. It's not my mum's fault, is it? Well, I actually don't care whose fault it is. I priced these flowers to be delivered here, which is 50 yards away. Well, don't worry, because Ray's paying. What? Oh, I did these flowers at cost for Sinead. Could have known your fancy man was paying her to charge the earth. Tracy, he's just my boss. Ooh, for now. I've got to go. Oh, thanks for the coffee. I'll see you later. Yeah. Can't believe that Ray's giving you a free do. What a legend. Uh, excuse me, I was giving her a free reception here. <laughs> You're a legend as well. You all are. Yeah, but he's a legend with a swanky hotel. Yeah, and a swanky bum. Oh, <laughs> Ria? What? <laughs> Tell me you haven't looked. Uh, right, what do you think so far? <gasps> Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, it's gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> I've said it before. Daniel's a lucky man. Yeah, you are such a gorgeous couple, Sinead. Um, I'm just going to pop out. I need to get confetti. Just like you and Ali, eh? Mm. We've all just got ourselves together. <laughs> Listen, I know I'm biased, but he is a very good catch. Yeah. Mm. He's dead good looking. Hey, and he's a doctor. <laughs> oh, he sounds perfect. <laughs> Come off it, ladies. He's a bloke. If he sounds too good to be true, he probably is. <sighs> Sad to part with these. <laughs> Sell by dates coming up. I had my eye on them. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Those um, truffles and pink wafers. Well, don't eat them all at once. <laughs> I made that mistake before. Oh no, no, no! They're not for me. They're um, they're a little gift to cheer someone up. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you later. Oh, don't mind if I intrude. <laughs> Tried singing to him. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Well, what songs have you tried? The usual, um, nursery rhymes, lullabies. Do you mind if I uh... be my guest? <laughs> if you want my future, forget my past. If you want to get with me, better make it fast. Didn't realize you were a big fan of the Spice Girls, Brian. Who isn't? <sighs> Don't go wasting my precious time. Get your act together. We can have a good time. You gotta be kidding me, it's actually working. Join in. I'll so tell you what I want, want, what I really, really want. want. So tell, tell me what you want, want, what you really, really want. Do you think he knows what's going on? I hope not. I wanna, I wanna, I really, really wanna see. Brian, what on earth are you doing? Oh, I know, love. I was just getting Bertie off to sleep with a bit of girl power. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Kettle. You okay? Yeah. What were you and Kathy just talking about? Nothing. Right, okay. I'll see you in the bistro later, won't I? Will you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you booked in for 12. Sinead booked you a table. Oh, uh, no, I can't do that. I'm going away. What? Yeah, I just need to get away for the day, so I'm going to go to Blackpool. See ya. Daniel, wait! You can't go to Blackpool. Why not? Because... I need to talk to you. Well, my tram leaves in a few minutes. Can we not do this tomorrow when we're both at work? No, please. Well, I'm, I'm feeling really sad about my life and, and the article. Can we just go for a coffee? This isn't a good idea. It's just coffee. No, not the coffee. Me and you. I heard what you said to Cathy in there. Do you think he knows what's going on? No, no, that, that's not and what I you And I do think. know what's going on. I know what you want. But I'm with Sinead. OK, well, no, I'm not hitting on you. And forget the coffee, but if you don't follow me to the bistro, you might not be with Sinead very much longer. Oh, hey, sorry that took so long. The traffic was a nightmare. Can you get the rest of the boxes in? I'm going to get clapping on the food. Oh, hang on. Didn't you get the message? We're not doing the reception here now. Well, since when? Well, since earlier. Ray's offered to do the whole thing at his hotel. But this is Daniel and Sinead's wedding. I've been looking forward to it. I've, I've got a new menu. I've... Make the canapes. Well, we thought you'd be relieved. You can just relax and enjoy the wedding now. We? Yeah, me and Ray. Oh, right, like, like when you and Ray cooked up your plan to franchise our restaurant. Cook anything at all. It's the second time you've done this, Michelle. You've decided on something without talking to me first. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Do you know, it might help if you were around a bit more. I'm supposed to be your business partner. Yes, and so is Ray now. And he's paying for Daniel and Sinead to have an amazing day. I was actually trying to take some of the pressure off you. Fine. I'll leave you to it, though. Where are you going? And get me suit on. I'll go to the registry office, but I'm going to swerve the reception. I've got a few things to sort out in stop. What? Well, hang on. See you later. <sighs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, wow. You look amazing. That's the correct thing to say. Yeah, give him here. Here. <laughs> Please don't be cross. I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm not cross. Why would I be cross? Marrying you. That is what's happening here, isn't it? Yeah? Because if you're getting married to somebody else, I'm going to be livid. <laughs> I knew how much you wanted to get married, and I realised I was just being selfish. You can be as selfish as you want. You had cancer. Hey! This is all great, but you need to really get changed. Yeah, look, we've got suits for you and Bertie. Yeah, just a few more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You all right there, Dad? Looking a bit emotional. Well, it's a happy occasion. We don't get too many of those. I have tissues if you need them. I don't want a tissue. I'm sorry for being a cow recently. Hmm. You haven't? Well, anyway, I can see you struggling, and, and I really want us to be close again. So, got your little gift to put a smile back on that face. Hmm. Thanks, Jenny. Well, don't get too excited. I mean, it's not, it's not much, but um, I'll give it you later. Well, this is nice, isn't it? I do love a happy ending. Me too. I hope he doesn't do a Chesney, you know, and leave her at the altar. He won't. Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> Whoa! Well, this is fast turning into the best wedding we've ever had. Thank you. Hey, 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 you're not married yet? Actually, they are. Well, sort of. Oh, yeah. Uh, tissue, please. Thanks, everyone, for coming. I'll see you all at the party tonight. Everyone's invited. Woo! <laughs> OK, no time for photos. We need to get them to the registry office or they won't be getting married at all. <laughs> <laughs> so Robert just spat his dummy out and cleared off, did he? Pretty much, yeah. I think he's upset because I'm like Ray do the reception. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. I'll get over it. He's gonna have to at some point, isn't he? We are getting married. Well, hopefully, anyway. Right, everyone, they're here. Adam. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? We all be up standing and raise your glasses for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Osborne. Hey. Woo! Thank you. Come on. Wow. I uh, have a little announcement to make. As you all know, my gorgeous man is going to be 80 very soon. And although it's not the grand tour that he's been dreaming about, I am going to take him to Venice. Oh, good for Ken. Not just me, though. Since I wasn't here for the first wedding, this is for you. Ooh, see. We're coming too. The whole family. Whoa. Oh, yes, I've never been to Venice. Uh, Barlow's side only, I'm afraid. I'm not made of money. Typical. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Hey, I can't believe that you got all of this done in secret. Yeah, well, lots of people chipped in. You know, Michelle, Auntie Beth, Kirk. Bethany played a part too. Mm. If it wasn't for her, you'd be riding a donkey and I'd be filing for a pagan divorce. <laughs> right, photos. Yeah. Riding him first. Accepted. Give me a chance. I'm sorry for thinking that you were... Hitting on you on your wedding day. Yeah. It's fine. Nothing happened, so... Still mates? Always. Good. Hey, how's Bertie doing? Ah, it's fast asleep. Tracy's taking over. Oh, good. I'll keep her out of trouble, then. Listen, big man, um, I'm gonna move out of the flat. 
You know, now you're officially married. It's time you guys have your own space as a family. Okay, well, I'll miss you. <laughs> I will. I know I don't always show it, but I do love having you around. It can be a voice of calm when things get mad. Well, I've got a number for marriage guidance if you need it. Uh... <laughs> I'm so proud of you, you know. What you've been through. Hey, don't be getting all soppy on me now, anyway. Look at you now. Married, little baby Bertie. <sighs> You're so lucky. Mm -hmm. Sinead, mm -hmm. I think I've found somewhere. What do you mean? Give me your hand. I think it might be a lump. you get when you're dead tense. Oh, a swollen gland. I mean, you might be coming down with a cold. I know what it is, Annie Beth. Well, well, we need to get you to the hospital then. No. Well, they've got two tests. What difference does it make if we do them now or in the morning? Sinead! This is my wedding day and I'm going to enjoy it. So are you. So is Daniel. You have to tell him. After all that stuff with the kid. Yeah. Of course I'm going to tell him. But I don't want anyone else knowing, all right? Who are you two gassing about? Oh, girl stuff. Um, will you all get us some food? Yeah. yeah. Right. Smile, Auntie Beth. I want you to smile. And I want you to take lots of photos. I want this day captured forever, OK? This is terrific. Well done. Well, in my experience, the key to a happy marriage... Oh, what advice from a man who's been married four times? Says the woman who's been married four times. Says the bigamist. Look, I'm trying to make an important point here, if you let me get a word in. Yeah, go on, Dad. Shh. The key to a happy marriage is compromise. How very dull. No, oh. no. The key to an happy marriage is marrying the right person. Well, that's that sorted, then. Well, right person or not, you're still different. Look at me and Deirdre. No, compromise is essential. I don't compromise with Steve. You don't compromise with anybody. Surely the key to a happy marriage is honesty. Yeah, wise words from a wise man. Uh, excuse me, do you mind if I just steal my husband for a moment? Oh. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Can't keep their hands off each other, can they? I miss those days. Actually, I never had those days. Not with my bill. Hey, what's up? I know we're caught in this suit, but we've got plenty of time for that later. I found a lump. We need to go to the hospital. No. Like I told Auntie Beth. Hey, don't be stupid. We need to find out what it is. And we will. But right now, I want to enjoy our wedding day. I want to enjoy feeling happy and beautiful and hopeful. But it could be nothing. Or it might be the cancer. And if it is, I, I don't want to know that. Not today. We can't just pretend that it's not there. Why? For a few hours? I promise we will go in the morning, okay? But right now, I want no fuss, okay? No tears. Just joy. Please. Please, Daniel. Has anyone ever said that you look like a young Robert De Niro? Uh, yeah, once or twice, yeah. 
The absolute spit. Your same deep eyes, same glossy hair. Have a little mingle, are we? Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, you two are... Yeah. So maybe go and stalk a different stranger. Oh, sorry. Reckon it's because I've gone vegan. Craving animal contact. Uh, what? Uh, we're going to cut the cake soon, oh. so... Cake? Something I can eat. Hey. <laughs> Yo, no, you're good. <laughs> yeah. hey. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please, uh, raise your glasses to the bride and groom and our wonderful future together. Seen this, okay. Oh, uh, you've not seen Daniel yet? Uh, no. Ugh, just going to have to eat cake now. I'm vegan, aren't I? There's egg in that, you know. Egg? Hey, uh, where have you been? I just needed to get some fresh air. It's really hot in this suit. <sighs> I reckon we should get on with the speeches before everyone gets a bit too trolled. You gonna say a few badly chosen words? Well, I haven't prepared a speech. I mean, I didn't know I was getting married. Just wing it, darling. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention once more? I do apologise, but it is my job. Give it up for the group. <clears throat> uh, thank you all for coming, especially at such short notice. I don't actually have a proper speech prepared because my wife, <laughs> my beautiful but completely crazy wife, decided that she wanted to surprise me. And she has. In fact, she surprises me every day with her kindness and her generosity and her weird dance moves. <laughs> and the way that when she sleeps, she makes these weird noises like a little hamster. <laughs> and the way that she is with our son. But what surprises me the most, what astonishes me, is her bravery. Because she... I'm sorry. I, uh, I think what my husband is trying to say, aside from the fact I snore like a rodent, <laughs> is that he loves me. But, uh, not as much as I love it. I'm only brave because of him. When I thought I couldn't go on, he showed me that I could. When I was too ill to see Bertie, he took care of him. When I couldn't stand up because I was too weak, he held me. It's his love for me that made me strong. And, well, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him. Daniel Osborne. You're my hero. And right now, there's no happier woman alive. Come here, you soft nally. <laughs> it's enough to make anyone want to get married. Hey, be you and Robin next, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Earlier, take Claudia Colby's. Did you? Hmm? Is this stolen as well? We can't afford posh drinks in an hotel like this. It's a free bar. Is it? Yeah. <coughs> Why didn't you tell that? I thought you knew. <laughs> I shall get us some fresh ones. 
Oh, oh, hang on, not yet. Love, look at... Come on, you, first dance time. Oh, no, I don't think I can dance. I know you can't, but that doesn't mean you're getting out of it. Sing words I'll never say. I'm scared. Me too. But right now I'm having a beautiful day. <laughs> The nurse says that you're next. Look, I've got Auntie Beth to take a photo of him sleeping. Oh, sleep tight, Bertie. Ignorance is bliss. Mm, it certainly is. All right, come on. Put your wife, look. Oy. <sighs> He's the best thing I've ever done, you know. My little legacy. Hey, come on, don't start with that. You have to let me say things. Okay. That cuts both ways. Where there's life, there's hope. I suppose that we could have dropped everything and come for the scan sooner. A few hours wouldn't have made any difference. Yeah. And I wouldn't miss yesterday for the world. Me neither. Making memories. Mm-hmm. That we can reminisce about over in the care home. You just thought I'd fantasise about being in an old folks' home there. Yeah. Bertie and his three girls can come visit us every week. Three girls? Yeah, I'm absolutely convinced of it. Meryl Streep's got three girls, you know. And a boy. Right. Bertie's not going to have any boys. Carry on. You'll eat all the best chocolates, as per. Leaving me with nothing but the coffee creams. Where is this girl? Well, it's in Leafy Cheshire. We're basically inseparable, but we do bicker. I want to bicker with you until I'm 105. Ditto. Sinead. Scan time. You, Mrs. Osborne, but I just love a waft of bleach when I'm on honeymoon. Oh, yeah, I'm on here. It's right up there with midnight jasmine. So now it's just the waiting in. Yeah. Do you know them bailiffs that repossess cars and take all your worldly clubs? You've been watching trashy TV again? Well, they have to serve the writ to the actual person, physically hand it to them, or else it don't count. Okay. Well, I'm thinking my scan results. If we do a runner, nobody can tell us. Oh. If I never have to see it, feel it, or hear it, then I'll never have to know my expiry date. I mean, I'll know my best before date. I was best before cancer. But if we don't let anyone say it? Then it's kind of not happening. We need to know what we're dealing with. I know. What a girl can dream. Oh. Here they are. Hey, come here, sis. Come on. Oh, hello, big bro. Look, we'll get used to this. Oh, you're looking exhausted after yesterday. Yeah. Hey, what about this one cutting a rug on the dance floor? Yeah, then? you've got all the moves, haven't you, Dad? Dance like no one's watching. Oh, believe me, everybody was watching. <laughs> <laughs> Slipping away unnoticed was a wise move. Well, it's a good job you brought your camcorder out to retire. Yeah, I noticed. I can't wait to see the footage again. Well, I must have a screening at number one. Oh, lovely. Sooner rather than later would be good, yeah. though, wouldn't it? Mm. Yeah. And we can discuss our trip to Venice. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Sounds good. See you in a bit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, me love the bouncy boy. Yes, 
Yes, she does. Yes, she does. <laughs> oh, look at the way he looks at you. Say, Mama. Say, Mama. <laughs> and he's there. He's eight months old. <laughs> well, I can mind him a bit longer if you want. There's no bother. No, it's all right. I want to cherish every second I have with him. Yeah, of course you do. But if you're not going to get these scan results for a few days, you could uh, have a mini moon. Mm, I don't know. Oh, you'll be climbing the walls waiting for that phone to ring. Get out there, have a bit of fun. Great minds, Auntie Beth, great minds. How about this? Only a couple of hours away. Hi there. Oh, this looks lovely, this. One bed cottage, stunning views of Grassmere. Hey, what been great telly? Oh, travel cot on request. We could set Bertie with us. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, book it. What she said. Hey! hey. I am a published author, and no, please don't keep going about it. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah, it's in tomorrow's paper. The Daniel Stumps his foot and the editor caves. <laughs> oh, the editor cave because it's a quality piece of writing. Yeah, maybe. But um, seriously, thank you, with bells on. Denada. Where you off? Oh, the lakes. Three-night mini moon. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Is everything OK? Um, Sinead found a lump. Oh, no, Daniel, I'm so sorry. Here's me going on about that stupid article. Don't be ridiculous. You can't tell anyone. No, no, promise I won't. Yesterday was so magical. It's so sad, I can't bear it. How can you bear it? Denial, that helps. I don't suppose you Cover your shifts. Yeah, you don't even need to ask. Thank you. And, uh, hey, it is great news, by the way, about your article. See ya. Car keys, directions and brain. Uh, Bertie's formula. Uh, we've got Bobby Bear, chamomile tea bags. Yep, in Bertie's implausibly large suitcase. Mm. Oh. oh, that's a hospital number. Would you want me to answer it? Hello? Oh, er. Uh, yeah, hi, speaking. Uh, this afternoon? Um, yeah, 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 okay. All right, uh, yeah, please tell Mr. Merchant I'll see him at quarter to four. Thanks, bye. Okay, so we mustn't catastrophize. The reason they're on the ball is because you're young and you've got your whole life ahead of you. What did they sound like? I don't know. Serious? Yeah, understandably. Sorry, I didn't mean to bamboozle you. What are you thinking? No mini moon for us, Bertie Boo. Could always call them back, tell them we're going away for a few days. No. I need to know. So do you. Great hug. <laughs> right, I'm gonna change his nappy. Okay. Alright. <laughs> And we're back to Coronation Street in half an hour. We're not scared. Uh-oh, grass. Long, wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. Right, come on. Sorry to have to break up this bear hunt, but we need to leave. Aww. We're enjoying that work with Bertie. 
Now, well, it'll keep until tonight. Come on, chop, chop. This consultant's a very busy man. Do you swap? Oh, yeah. Come here. Plus, we've got a honeymoon to get to. What? No, you'll have to cancel the holiday cottage. Well, what's the point in jumping the gun? I'll get those bags here to him. Right, OK, thank you. Oh, there you go. How about a mint? Oh. Daniel! Sorry. You left him on the couch. I've had a lot on my mind. Well, I meant to give him to Beth when we were in Rise. I'll be right. I'm not going to be here long. All right. Oncologist now, are you? Honestly. Schneider, what's going No, you keep that for luck. Mm, yes, please. Oh, hey. Hey, Beth. Oh, hi. Daniel texted me before, asked me to have him. <laughs> They've uh, rented a cottage in Grasmere just for three nights. Mm, we thought they'd put something away. Anxiety, she calls it. Eh? She um, asked me not to tell anyone, but um, she knows he's been recalled to the hospital. They, um, well, we found a lump yesterday. But this one is getting bored, and they need to take him over to play. But um, they're all there. Quakey. <laughs> Me, ma'am. Her Arlene. Nice and hangovers. That cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still pushing the confetti out the rear. <sighs> Thanks for seeing us so quickly. I juggled my list. I didn't want you hanging around in the waiting room. I said it was because of her age. That's why you've called her straight back in. Fast tracking her. Uh, it's bad news. Tissues on the table. It's a dead giveaway. I'm sorry, Sinead. The cancer has spread to multiple lymph nodes. This? Yes. That's a lymph node with cancer. The scan also detected a mass on your liver. As well? We were here... Uh, 10th of July remember that like it was yesterday. You used that really funny expression. Dancing with Ned. No evidence of disease. I know. I'm sorry. So what, was that a mistake? I mean, did you just not pick it up? Not you, personally. I understand. It's hard to take in. But if we'd have been coming regularly instead of waiting for the three months scan, this would have been picked up. It's a very aggressive cancer. We got married yesterday. Did they tell you? They did. I'm pleased for you. Thanks. It was a lovely day. I think I was smiling as soon as I got up till, well. We didn't bring an overnight bag. And they never said nil by mouth when they rang. Not that she's got much of an appetite. That's not a problem. You can go home as soon as we've finished talking. So, what is it then, chemo? Oh. I know, I know it's not fair. Sinead, this cancer's not going to be cured. It's too advanced. I'm so sorry to have to tell you this today of all days. Would the two of you like a minute on your own? I am. I'm confused how the... the mass... Is that a tumour? It is. OK. Surely that can be cut out. And as for the liver, that regenerates itself, doesn't it? My brother, he's nearly drank himself close to death so many times. <laughs> Peter, you should see him now. He's a picture of health. Unfortunately, surgery is not an option. The cancer's in the liver, 
and the lymph glands and spreading, which is also why we can't use radiotherapy either. So chemo then? Uh, possibly. Look, I don't have all the answers. We'll do some blood tests, but treatment options are limited. She's 25. Once we've got your bloods back, I'll book you in. Hopefully tomorrow. You can bring a list of questions if you like. Ask me anything. We might be able to stabilise the cancer this... for a short while. This is because of me, isn't it? This is all my doing. What? When I was pregnant with Bertie, I delayed my chemo. Sinead. This is all my fault and you know it. No, no it's not. No it's not. This isn't your fault. What matters is the here and now and how you manage the time you have. Have left. I'm, I'm not being thick, am I? That, that is what you're saying, isn't it? It is. How long are we talking? Any figures I give you will only be averages. Everyone reacts differently. He's going to be eight months on Saturday. Am I going to see him start school? It's unlikely. I'm going to see him toddling, though. <laughs> he said ask, so I'm going to ask him. We will try and stabilise the cancer for as long as we can. Years? A year? Roughly? Maybe three. Four months. Months? You might respond well to chemo. But if you don't, you might be too weak to spend time with Bertie. It's a balancing act. Do you choose length of life or quality of life? Three or four months. We can't be exact. I might not see you, but it's for Christmas. <sighs> Bertie, go straight home. You don't have to perform, you don't have to do anything, okay? I'll do all the talking, okay? They haven't kept her in. No, no, no. I mean, that's got to be a good sign then, right? Ah, well, if it isn't Mr. and Mrs. Osborne, I thought you'd be off when you travelled by now. How's your head today? I must admit, mine's a bit fragile. Hey, come in. Hello? Yes, this is Daniel Osborne. Grasme. Oh, uh, did you not get my email? Um, right, it's your coffee, she in first. Yeah, um, all three nights right, cancelled. No, I didn't think to take out insurance on a three day trip to Grasme, but I won't make that mistake again. Am I missing something? If you do her a row. You're gonna find out sometime. Right, are we done? Excellent. Uh, so we've just come back from the hospital and um, the cancer's back. It's spread. Don't answer it. It's Beth. Bertie, I've mes messaged. Can you know, sit down for a minute? Oh, we've just got him settled. Break. It's worse than that. The worst. Oh. Nothing that they can do. Well, they actually said that. Uh, chemo to slow it down if we're lucky, but. We must get a second opinion. There's always hope. I'm tired now. Can we just go on? Oh, no. 
Well, my... Bless him. Just gonna set us up for life, this stuff. Or a house with a garden, at least. What a waste of time. Don't say that. Should just throw the lot of it against that wall. I'll join you. Once we've got him off to sleep. I'll save you the brushing up. <sighs> At least you won't have time to get sick of me now. As if I could. Sinead. We can't let this take hold. We have to keep living. Yeah, we will. Most people are just cruising through life. We're going to save her every single second. I resent every second. Every second I'm losing. I can't unknow what I know. Our wedding. The way I felt, how happy I was. I'm never going to feel that happy ever again. No, I'm do it. Do you want a drink? No. Sit down. I'll pour you one. You're just like your dad. You never listen. What? I told you to cancel that cottage. The cottage? You knew best. I was trying to keep our options open. It, it could have been a cyst. It could have been totally benign. We knew it wasn't a cyst. Oh, oncologist now, are you? You decided. So the cottage remained uncancelled. And instead of losing the deposit, no, we've lost 200 quid. I don't care about the money. Who cares about money at a time like this? Well, you better start caring. You've got a child to think of and a part-time waiter's wage. Sinead. Sinead, what are we doing? We can't be rowing with each other now, not after what we've been through today. Who's rowing? Stupid thing. It's never even been anywhere. Neither have we. OK, OK, OK. So that's the first thing that we have to ask tomorrow. If there's anywhere that we want to go, yeah? Venice. Can we travel? I need to start making some notes, seriously. What's the point? Homework. Look at us. We're meant to be on our honeymoon. And we can't even consummate it. Sex is the last thing on my mind right now. I mean it. What does that even make us? Eh? Oh, the happy couple, newlyweds, but not husband and wife. Oh, I know. The patient, carer. Oh, it won't be like that. It, it won't it ever be like Oh, yeah, it will. And it's all my fault. I dodged the treatment. I listened to some stranger. Some freak who killed herself with kale. How could I be so stupid, eh? I'm so stupid. Hey, Sinead, stop it. Sinead, oh. stop. 
Stop. Listen to me. Look at me. Right? Mr Merchant doesn't think of it like that, does he? Mr Merchant's been kind. But he knows it. We all know it. No. Sinead, you're forgetting that it was a choice. Have the treatment or have Bertie. Two choices. Have the brachytherapy or keep your fertility. We had one shot at making a baby and he is absolutely perfect because of you. Imagine. Imagine if we had done it my way and you'd had the termination and then started the treatment and we wound up in exactly the same situation. God, it's breaking my heart. I can't even begin to think about what life's going to be like without you. But you've given me a reason to get up in the morning. That boy in there, he's going to be my anchor and he's going to stop me from floating away. You have fought and fought. You've done more living in the last eight months than some people do in eight years. Showing photos, won't you? And uh, playing the wedding videos as well. I want him to know what my voice sounds like. I want him to recognise my scrolly handwriting. The way you smell. Hey, do you remember when we left that teddy in the incubator? In the end, all I'll be is a story. Someone make believe. Like the bear from the bear hunt. The tiger who came to tea. Oh, I won't let that happen. Been a good person. It's not fair. I've been a good person. Why doesn't that count? Hey, it does, it does count, it does. It counts to me. And it counts to Bertie, and it counts to every person who knows you. I was so full of it. Oh, I won't let this define me. What a joke. That's all I'll be in it. A joke. The poor young girl who died of cancer. I would have been better drowning in Windermere. Hey, don't say that. We're getting hit by a bus. Something instant. Now, I'm going to have to spend my last few months dragging this body around while it slowly falls apart. Bring it on. What? Yeah. I want every second that I can get. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Every round of chemo, every drug trial. Every dose of puke, every fever spike. Every extra second of every day, I will take it. You are going to have the treatment, right? Sinead. Sinead! Before there was a point. Even though the chemo was horrendous, there was hope. There's a point now. Us, Bertie, the, the people that care about you more than anything in the world. Is that not enough? It's not even the dying. It's the leaving. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Hey. But we can't go over it. And we can't go under it. We've got to go through, through it. it. Yeah. 